Hi. So you have broken your SATA connector, as I did. I tried to find solution online, but everything was including soldering, replacing control boards, or some other procedures that I'm not really good at. So I found out another solution. So you, many people break it by pulling a clipped cable, but in my case, this is a warning if you didn't break it in this way, so you don't do it. I was trying to insert the hard disk the wrong way. So I tried to put it in, a, in this drawer with connectors oriented on that side. So when I pushed in my desktop, the cables bent and broke the plastic. So the correct way is connectors should be on this side. I didn't do this for a long time, so I totally forgot how it was. Anyways, I ended up with a broken SATA connector on a brand new Toshiba 8 terabytes that I never used. And it looks like this. I broke the plastic and even some pins are bent a little bit. So solutions online suggest either replacing the control board or soldering wire by wire from your SATA cable. However, I found much simpler solution. And that is, I found adapter. This is the L shape adapter. I don't know if there is any other shapes, but this is good enough for me. So the idea is to stick this in and get new connectors from the adapter. So this is what we're going to try to do. It costs only seven bucks on Amazon. Probably you can find it cheaper on AliExpress or so. So it arrived. It looks like this. So this is where our SATA pins will go. And then we will have a brand new connectors here. Notice that these plastic guides will put this very nicely and firmly in place into hard drive. Every hard drive has this, so this is universal spacing. And also my power connector is good, so this will also keep it firmly in place. But still, I was a little bit worried if the pins will, will press firmly onto these contacts. So that was my only worry with this fix. So for that, I, took, I made two small pieces of cardboard. It's relatively thickish cardboard, so two should be enough. And my idea is to put them there. So the contacts are on the upper side here. So the paper is down. So the pins have to go from the uh, upper side of the paper. So when, when I try to connect this, I will use the gravity to keep the paper down and insert it carefully not to bend the pins. So the pins have to start sliding from above the paper. You can see it here. And then I just push the connector and you can see it goes very firmly. Without the paper, it's a little bit loose. And that's it. Now it's attached very nicely because of those guides and the guys guide to the power, power uh, connector. And now you have two brand new connectors that you can nicely connect cables to. So now insert them properly, this time in a, in a drawer into the desktop, connect the cables like this. I have the L shaped here. I should use the straight one, but never mind. And voila, that's it. That's how I fixed it. It works perfectly. I just copied my Dropbox 120 gigabytes in like 10 minutes. So yeah, spinning discs are still good. Thank you.